today's video on applied electronics in this video the important terms and mcqs so first is what is an ideal voltage source a device with zero internal res resistance that is an ideal voltage source second is what is an ideal current source a device with infinite internal resistance third is what is a practical voltage source answer is a device with small internal resistance and fourth what is a practical current source answer is a device with large internal resistance fifth multiple uh, choice questions the voltage out of an ideal voltage source is answer is b constant six the current out of an ideal current source is constant seventh is the path between two points along which an electrical current can be carried is called a circuit means the path between two points along which an electrical current can be carried is called a circuit uh, then next is eighth question the formula for current as per ohm's law is answer is option a voltage per resistance the unit of electrical resistance is ohm next in a constant voltage dc circuit when the resistance increases the current will answer is a decreases it means in a constant voltage dc circuit when the resistance increases the current will decreases next is number of valence electrons in a silicon atom are Four. The most commonly used semiconductor element is silicon. Ah, uh, silicon is most commonly used semiconductor element. Copper is a conductor. Ah, uh, because copper is not insulator, is not a semiconductor, and is not a superconductor. So, answer B. It is a conductor. Fourth is. Number of protons in the nucleus of a silicon atom are answer is B fourteen. The next, the valence electron of a conductor are also called as free electrons. Valence electrons are also a free electrons. Sixth is an intrinsic semiconductor at room temperature has a few. free electrons and holes always in an intrinsic semiconductor at room temperature has a free a few free electrons and holes seventh is at room temperature an intrinsic semiconductor has some holes in it due to the thermal energy answer is option c it is the number of holes in an intrinsic semiconductor is answer is option a equal to number of free electrons holes act as option d positive charges 10th pick the odd one in the group conductor semiconductor four valence electron or crystal structure so the answer is option a conductor to produce p type semiconductors you need to add trivalent impurity carbon pentavalent impurity or silicon so answer is option a trivalent impurity electron are the minority carriers in extrinsic semiconductor p type semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor or n type semiconductor 
so the option is d n type semiconductor electrons are the minority carriers in n type semiconductors a p type semiconductor contains holes and negative ions holes and positive ions holes and pentavalent atoms holes and donor atoms so answer is option a holes and negative ions how many electrons does pentavalent atoms have answer is option d 